Hi Saj, thank you for joining me for your love read for March 2024. As always, this is still a general reading, okay, so it's not necessarily going to resonate for every single one of you. You only take what is yours and you leave what isn't for you for someone else. I've, I genuinely hope, Saj, that you get a much better reading than everyone else has gotten this month. The love reads this month have been an absolute shit show. <laughs> Like, for real. We will be together again. A good start. A really good start. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I hide behind material things and I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, you're already off to a better start than everyone else there, Sarge. And I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay, so at this point in the read, and it could change as I start pulling the tarot. I don't know if I want to, to be honest. Uh, I should probably just end the read there, right? Um, but yeah, it, it could change when I start pulling the tarot. But at this point in the read, Saj, this individual is coming across as being sincere, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. They have been hiding behind material things uh, as a distraction, I feel, okay? So this is probably someone who works constantly just to just as so they don't have to look at the emotional side of anything, all right? They're saying that they're grateful for the spiritual lesson, so they feel that they have grown massively uh, spiritually since they met you or since they've been with you okay I, I don't know if this is a current person or a past person it could be either or right i don't know only you'll know you'll know if the energy resonates right what's going on in their headspace towards Sarge, please page of coins okay so you've got an offer that's coming in from this person, Saj. Okay, they want to give you something. Feels like a gift. It could be something physical. Page of Swords and the Fool. So this person has been watching you, Saj. They've been investigating what it is that you like. What are your interests? And they. it looks like they've bought you a gift here that is based on your interests. So they've done their homework. They, they've done their homework. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that is a very sincere individual. Okay. With the fool energy being there as well. It's a brand new journey, brand new adventure, taking the risk. So they, they have taken the risk. They've gone out and they've gotten you a gift that is very personal for you. It's based on something that you absolutely love doing. Wow. Very, very thoughtful individual there, Sarge. Okay, so their heart space. The Ten of Swords. Interesting. So it looks like they're dealing with some kind of a betrayal here. Ah, Ten of Swords, Six of Cups and the Lovers. They could be dealing with an ongoing uh, hurtful situation. Probably to do with someone from their past, one of their exes. I'm hearing parent also. So there's something to do with the parent that they're dealing with at this point in time. Where a situation has painfully come to a conclusion, to an ending. However, with them dealing with that, they're not going to allow that to impose on the connection that they feel towards you, Saj. Okay. Finally. Finally. <laughs> We've got to read this month where there is someone acting like a decent, well-adjusted, mature adult. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, honestly, sad. Pick, pick any of the other reads. Pick any of them. <laughs> and you'll see really quickly what it is I'm getting at. <laughs> it has been an absolute shit show for the love reads this month. Um... Wow. And and then you're pulling this energy where you've got this well adjusted, mature adult. It's it's a refreshing change. Yeah, King of Cups in the reverse on top of the Ten of Swords. Um so again it's like in their heart space that they, they know that they're grieving, okay? Like clearly they're grieving a loss of some kind. But they also know that it's not healthy to project that onto you it's like they know that they have to deal with that and they are dealing with it okay so Saj if you felt this individual being a little bit distant um 
try not to overthink it, okay? It literally is this individual. They're not wanting to trauma dump on you, okay? They, they've got their own shit going on, which you can, you can completely understand because everybody's got their own shit that's going on. Not everyone makes it the other person's problem, though, okay? Right, the seven of coins off balance, yeah. Yeah, this person has actually waited until they felt that they were in a much better place before they pursued this particular connection, okay, with you. Okay, what are they challenged by, please? King of Coins, Page of Cups, King of Wands. Okay. Make this make sense? What are they challenged? What are they? Ch what are they challenged by? Please. What is Sage's person challenged by? What is King of Coins? Nine of Cups. Why the Page of Cups? Okay. And the King of Wands. What's going on? I need to figure out what this is first, Sarge. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and give you a whole load of bullshit if I'm not seeing it in the read. Okay. I'll only give it you when I see it in the read. Simple as. Um, right. Okay, there's a lot of masculine energy that's coming out in their challenges, right? Not necessarily another man, it's just masculine energy. They could be dealing with someone who's got a lot of masculine energy to them, or maybe they're needing to embrace more of their masculine energy. Intuitively, I feel that this other person is being challenged by an individual who has got a lot of masculine energy to them, someone who is very controlling. Someone who has got an issue with your person that's coming out in this read pursuing you, okay? Someone who's got an issue with losing their control over your person, right? I mean, you've got two pages coming out in the reverse position with a six of wands also in the reverse position. So they're dealing with a very emotionally immature person who feels that they can control them and quite possibly withhold their children from them. If they have kids, then those kids are being withheld from them, okay? Especially with that Six of Wands in reverse. That's like, I mean, your Six of Wands, that's the Lord of Victory and it's come out in reverse to clarify these two pages. It doesn't really take a genius to figure that out, does it? Someone's being blackmailed, basically. And there, there is likely going to be kids involved. And the blackmailer is a masculine energy. Okay. Again, not necessarily a man, just someone who's got masculine energies to them. They're challenged by the fact that they're wanting to pursue their happiness. And clearly they feel a lot of happiness with you. But they're saying at the moment, financially, they're tied up. They're, they're probably... Um, they're probably being rinsed here by their ex-partner for, for some kind of child maintenance. I mean, I know, yes, everyone should be paying their child maintenance, but it seems to be that they're being asked for more and more and more and more and more to the point where they've literally got nothing left. Okay, that's how this energy feels to me. And then King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're challenged by um, having to defend themselves Queen of Wands in the off-balance position. Yeah. Okay, so they, they've got a bitter, nasty, vengeful person around them who likes to think that they are a victim, who is pretending that they have been victimized, and your person has got a really hard time saying no to them. Okay. It could be a sibling, could be like an ex-love or a love rival, something like that. Tower reversed, Emperor reversed, Three of Cups reversed. Okay, so, yeah. Um, I mean, 
thus dominating behaviour. You've dodged a bullet, and then three of cups reversed. It's gossip, maliciousness. They're challenged by the fact that people are speaking badly about them at this point in time, saying that they're a useless father or a useless parent or just a useless person, okay? But in actual fact, they, they're better off out of it because that was a really awful, unhealthy situation. Let people say whatever, right? Yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um very very vicious energies that your person of interest is dealing with at this point in time really vicious that is aimed towards them okay what actions will they take towards Sag thank you the three of wands rapid growth expansion waiting for their ships to come in so they're waiting for the right time to take action towards you Sag they're probably going to suggest you two moving away. Three of Cups in the upright and the Knight of Coins. Can you have one more for the Knight of Coins, please? For Sag. Thank you. Temperance Reverse, your Major Arcana. Okay. So, they... Right, they do want to move away with you, Sag. With you. Um, obviously, they're hoping that you'll be okay with that. But the thing is, your major arcana has come out in reverse. So you might be fully invested within the area that you're living in currently. You might not want to uproot and move to a new place. Yeah, seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. You might not be up for the move or for the change. The change that, that they're feeling that they're needing and that they're wanting. Yeah, King of Wands in the upright position this time. Nice. Four of Cups off balance. It feels like some kind of compromise. Okay, your person's coming at you with some kind of compromise where you're both going to benefit from it. Okay. Seven of Cups. Keep your options open. Or that there are many more options that have not been considered at this point in time. So maybe moving away or running away isn't the correct answer. Maybe that's what you're trying to tell them. Look, running away from your problems never solved anything. We should do the sensible thing. We should stay here and we should try and make it work here. But they're convinced, especially in their actions towards you, they're convinced that moving away is going to be the only real option. But then you're going to have to consider like your own work and stuff like that as well. So, else for Sag. Okay. Flowers. Yeah, it's a gift. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Yeah. Be generous. Be open. It's an unfolding as well. So if this individual hasn't revealed yet to you how they feel for you, then that's unfolding in due course. Okay, goals, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Yeah, so some of you have got extra finances that's coming in here, okay, for, for certain. <laughs> uh, but it's also about positive growth and movement forwards and abundance. Beautiful. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. Yeah, so it's like, whatever you set up with this person, it is going to work, okay? Whether you stay where you're at currently, or if you go along with their plan and, and move away, it, it's going to work either way. What else for Sarge, please? Okay. Right, so I do need to warn you that if you don't like sarcasm or swearing, then you don't have to listen, okay? I just like to use these cheeky decks at the end of the read because it can bring in a bit of light-hearted energy at the end of the reading, okay? What else for Sarge, please? Thank you. It's okay, guacamole. I'm extra as fuck, too. 
Okay, be an extra means you give a shit. Maybe you give a shit about your on fleek eyebrows, or you give a shit about the environment, or you give a shit about making your ass clap. What? Be extra today. Okay. Random. But it's okay for you to be extra. That's the message. Right. Um, that's what I've got for you today, Sag. If you feel that a personal reading is going to be beneficial for you, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out your other signs and the dailies as well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.